It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Knockout Gaming 352 here coming at you with a, another offensive tip here and really just some uh, schemes to help people run the ball. I know people have been messaging me, telling me they have problems uh, running the football. So these are just some ideas, some of the things you can do to move the ball. Um, sometimes people have a really great defense, you know, and you might just have to throw the ball. I mean, that's that's what they specialize in is run defense. And they might have the run buffer set to inside run, and they might have good linebackers, especially if you're playing mutt. And don't, uh, don't pay attention to these run plays I'm doing. I'm just hiking the ball. But some things you want to do is just spread the uh, offense out. I'll give you like four or five tips, some things that I know. You can just spread the defense out. Make sure you uh, ID the defensive tackle, any one of them. I usually uh, ID the side that I'm running to. So I I'll ID that defensive tackle and look at that, that room I got. My offensive lineman got in the way kind of. And this is an average running team. It's not the best running team ever. So you can spread them out. Uh, ID the defensive tackle. Um, as you can see, I got some yards there. Another thing you can do is, okay, if, if you catch three down linemen, uh, defensive formation, if you catch people running three down linemen, spinner, and all that, run trap plays at it. Trap plays are... Hold on, sorry. Let me get a better run team. I'm sorry. Okay, here we are with the Dallas Cowboys. I, sorry, I had to switch teams because the Chargers were just putrid at running the ball. I don't know if that's the right word there. But I'm actually running against a spinner. If you run against a three down lineman, spinner, any of those meta defenses, run trap players right at it. And as you can see, you'll pop one or two of them really long and they'll get out of that real quick. They'll have to switch up something or they'll have to slant the defensive lineman or down into some end. As you can see, so against three down linemen, that's another tip. Like it might not work every time. You know, some people are really good. No, de no offense is foolproof. No defense is foolproof. But as you can see, the space that the uh, the, the trap creates against three down linemen is really great. There, look, boom, he picked them up and look. I should have bounced it out there. Do you see the space that it creates? So try that tip. Another thing you can do is run inside zone plays uh those are probably some of the best run plays i know every playbook have them so that's the thing you can do is and um run to the weak side of the defensive line so you you might want to go to the depth chart and look at it or you might already know that team make sure you run to the weak side of the depth of the uh i'm sorry the weak side of the defensive line not the depth chart Run to the weak side of the defensive line and run to your strong side of your offensive line. Let me find a better play. So know where your best offensive line linemen are. Get into your depth chart or set it up the way you want to and, and make sure you attack that. And also, if they have the momentum, if the bars are running up to their side, you know, when you get the momentum, your bars fill up on your, uh, it might, they might turn green for the Seahawks, red for the Buccaneers at the top of the screen when you're playing against an opponent. Uh, your team will do everything better. So almost any run play you run at that point will work. But if, if they have all the momentum, if their momentum bars are filled up, you're probably going to have a hard time running the ball no matter what team you're playing. And you're going to have a hard time stopping the uh, run also. That's just how it goes. Defensive backs play better. Uh, a 70 overall defensive back might play like an 80 overall defensive back. An 80 might play like a 92 overall. A 90 overall might play like a 99 overall. That's what happens when you get the momentum. So you, I didn't know that. It took me a while to figure that out. You just got to kind of play around it. At that point, you might have to pass a little bit more. So that's a really, really, re that's a real key tip when playing Madden. Ever since that momentum, I, I noticed it before they put the momentum bars at the top of the TV, though. So like one team can get the momentum. So make sure you don't throw interceptions or interceptions before the half. Don't just be throwing, in, don't just be trying to, get a quick uh, touchdown before halftime and throw an interception. That's going to get a team the momentum, which makes it hard for you to play offense and defense. You know what I mean? So that's something to just to really consider, man. And uh, make sure you uh, get some kind of pass game going to back the defense up. You know what I mean? Attack the uh, top of the defense to open up the bottom, if that makes sense. So you want to attack the safeties and the cornerbacks. Attack the cover threes. Attack the cover twos down the sidelines because every opponent is different and everybody requires something different. So you just got to find 
what works from that opponent in your toolbox and attack it. But if you don't have it in your toolbox, you can't use it. Smash that subscribe and like button on the way out. Thank you. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up.